How's it going everyone? My name is Bikio. Welcome to Would You Rather. Now I've seen a lot of people on YouTube do Would You Rather videos and stuff, so I thought I would try my hand at it. But I'm doing a different website, so uniqueness, originality, creativity. Those are things that I all stand for. Would you rather save the life of a starving African child that you will never meet or have an actual working lightsaber? I think it should be pretty obvious which one you should pick. That's the starving African children. I mean, sure, lightsabers are cool and all, but I mean, pff, we're probably gonna get that in like five more years, so <laughs> that, that can go. Take a European sightseeing vacation or a relaxing Caribbean vacation. Now, I've been to the Caribbean two, three times, I think two times. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of tropical weather, so I would l more love to see uh, European weather. Really, a lot of people like the Caribbean, I guess. Now, I think backpacking in uh, Europe sounds really great. Actually, one of my friends wants to do that. That's one of his dreams, so I think I would love to do that with him. Legally change your last name to Hitler or never eat chocolate again. Now, if you legally change your last name to Hitler, I mean, yes, it, you have the last name of Hitler, but... I, I'm actually not sure if there's any other people in Germany with the last name of Hitler. I I would assume that there are, but then again, the, there's a ban on, you know, talking anything World War II. I think that that's still a thing in Germany, so maybe not, and probably there might not be people in Germany with the last name of Hitler. Um, but there's a lot of implications. The, tr the thing is, is that... You have to legally change it, so that's like you saying that you want your name to be Hitler. So that that could definitely have some negative connotations, or never eat chocolate again. You know, that's a tough one actually. I'm a big chocolate ho choco holic, but I think I'd be okay with never eating chocolate again because honestly, you get I get uh, in terms of my stomach. Sometimes if I eat too much chocolate, I get I get, I get the Hershey squirts. You know. So, that's not a good thing, so I'm okay taking the L on that one. No internet or no cell phone? Definitely no cell phone. Definitely. It, yes, okay, yes, I'd rather have no cell phone. Because if you have the internet, uh, you can just have Facebook as your texting. Because if you don't have a cell phone, that doesn't mean everyone else has a cell phone. So, that's a uh, way to contact you just through Facebook Messenger. And there's other plenty of messengers out there. And besides, if you don't have a phone... Uh, Wait, no, you can't call them because you have a phone. Never mind. Rather have no one show up to your wedding or your funeral? Probably my funeral. Be Wait, rather have no one show. Yes, your funeral. Because wedding is like a big part of your life. Uh, some people get married multiple times, but it's still a significant part of your life. Versus your funeral, yep. Yeah, it, it, it's a place of mourning and, you know, it's a good place to remember and reflect on just life in general. Uh, but I think I'd rather have people come together for a happy time, at least a happy connotation versus coming together for a uh, meeting up for something that is most likely a negative connotation. But I mean, reflecting on life is uh, actually a pretty good thing, but uh, people don't need to see my dead corpse, really. Would you rather go way back in time and meet your ancestors pre-1800s, or go way into the future and meet your great-grandchildren? Well, I'm probably not going to have children at all, in all honesty. So as many as you know, or m many of you may not know, I am adopted, so I don't really have any clue on my actual biological family, so I think I would have to go with meet my ancestors. Wow. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> I'm really baking on not having any kids, aren't I? Live in the world where there are no problems, or live in the world where you rule. This... this has some... Mm, mm, this is... this is... this is... this seems like a loaded question, kind of. On one hand, live in the world where you rule... Ugh, I don't want that kind of pressure on me, no thank you. God, no, 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 no. But live in the world where there are no problems? See, that's kind of an issue too, because if there are no problems in the world, then what is life, you know? I mean, a lot of things in life come from problems and struggles. So, if you live in a world where there are no problems, everyone's just so happy-go-lucky all the time, that honestly is not a very good life to lead, as 
bad as that may sound. I could prattle on and on about the actual negative meanings in living in the world where there are no problems. I, that's, that's literally like a 30 minute video of just explaining the psychological and philosophical ways on a life where there is no pro- or a world where there is no problems. But I honestly... Ugh, I really don't want the pressure of me, of the world on me. So uh, as much as I hate to pick it, I'm gonna have to say live in a world where there are no problems. Yeah, it looks like I'm kind of in the majority where I don't want the pressure of the world on my shoulders. Live in Harry Potter's world or live the life of fame and wealth. Well, and all questions that relate to would you like to live in this sci-fi fantasy, sci-fi slash fantasy world, really, those worlds are pretty crappy. In Harry Potter world, you got magic, and that's cool and everything, but then you got like dark wizards and Voldemort, and those are not good things. Those are world dominating things, whereas just live the life of fame and wealth, that's fairly peaceful. I mean, I could be living very wealthily and I could choose to, you know, spend that money on charity or giving it to my non-existing child and living in fame, you can do a lot more with fame with influence or, you know, power. Uh, so I think I would do life of fame and wealth. Yeah, yeah, people agree with me there. Would you rather date a celebrity of your choice or your crush the hottest person you know? Well, currently I'm not crushing on anyone and I don't really care about celebrities that much. It depends on what this means as celebrity because it could mean like movie star or just celebrity as in someone famous. So if that's the case, then probably, probably a celebrity of my choice. Wow, I'm in the minority there, huh? Well, that's fair. Would you rather find true love or 10 million dollars? Okay, so the way I see this question is, would you rather find as in, like, you chance upon it? Meaning that it's not, you either find it, true love, or you find the money, but you could still potentially get both. That being said, I think that I could learn to find someone that I love, and, you know, eventually get married to him, but when the hell am I gonna find 10 million dollars in fat stacks like that just lying on the ground? So if we're going by that logic, I would pick the $10,000, but I'm sure, yep, I'm definitely in the minority there. Would you rather be able to fly or be Patrick Stewart? These are both powers that I enjoy and would love to have, but I think one of them, for me personally, something I would appreciate more, and that's the power of flight. You can go anywhere. That's like the ultimate way of freedom, essentially, in a materialistic thought process. Being able to fly, I would love being able to fly. That'd be so great. The question is, how fast and like how hard, I guess, I would be able to fly? Because if I can fly, if, if the gift that I get of flight is like, I don't know, one mile an hour, but I can just like kind of float anywhere, then eh, it's okay, but you know, even if I still have that, I think I'd take the flight. Would you rather get a dream vacation for two weeks or spend five days with anyone in the world but you must stay in your hometown? Well, I already live in my hometown. Uh, dream vacation does sound nice, but I think anyone in the world could be so fascinating. Like, you could pick someone so intelligent or influential. But then again, <laughs> if you spend five days with anyone in the world, does that mean that they're just like, teleported right next to you and then the uh, but you must stay in your hometown means that they're stuck there too so that could be bad too so I, I think I'll just go with it anyways. Wow people really need a vacation. Would you rather spend the day surfing the ocean or surfing the internet? We're riding on the internet, cyberspace set free, hello virtual reality, interactive appetite, searching for a website, a window to the world, got to get online. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set, you're going surfing on the internet. I can't surf, so I'm going, oh, okay, I don't need to see a Facebook surfing the internet. <laughs> a lot of people don't know how to surf either. Would you rather know the death cannot be avoided by acting upon this knowledge, date of your death, or cause your death? Ooh. Oh, this is an interesting one. Either way, when you're gonna approach one of these scenarios, be it the date or the situation of your death, you're gonna like have like a crazy mental flashback of 
you know, this option, like cause of death, in this case, a car crash. So every single time that you get in the car, that, that that's that's terrifying, you know, that, that could be your last day. So if that's the implication, such as like something easily like cause of death is getting in a car and, you know, you have to worry about dying every single time, that's terrifying. God, actually, now that I think about it, any situation where you know your cause of death, you're gonna be like mortified about approaching it and you can't avoid it. However, the date of your death sounds more Im Ah. See, if you know the date of your death, you're gonna be dreading the day that you're gonna die. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a tough one. I think for me personally, I would hate to know the date that I would die, but then again, you can do so much with the knowledge of knowing when you die, so you can do so much about it. You you could even, like, you know, make a vlog about that and stuff like that, so... This is a tough one! You know, I thought I was gonna go with cause of your death, but I think I might have to go with date of your death, because if I pick cause of your death, I'm gonna be mortified every time I eat food, or walk underneath a piano, or get in the car, versus date of your death, I at least can cope with it and manage it and have at least some kind of control in my life about it. So, date of your death. Wow! Yeah, that's a 50-50 split for me, too. That was incredibly hard. Would you rather have more time or more money? Definitely more time. Definitely. Going back to the superhero question uh, real quickly, and because this uh, affects time. If I were to pick a superpower that isn't, like, super grandeur, like, you know, flight or super strength, something like very simple and down to earth, like, say, having a photographic memory, like, having a photographic memory, I would consider, like, kind of a, a minor superpower. I mean, it's super because of the, it's superhuman, but it's not, like, in going into the realm of, like, you know, fantasy or sci-fi in that matter, but if I were to pick a superpower in regards to those rules, my superpower would definitely be the ability to not have to go to sleep, but I could still go to sleep whenever I felt like it to keep up with normalcy sake. The way I see it, a human needs about eight hours of sleep to get, you know, a full night's rest and to just feel completely refreshed and whatnot. Eight hours. Think of the things you can accomplish in your day with eight extra hours. You can do more work and get paid for another eight hours, potentially. You could make more YouTube videos. You could goof off. There's just, there's just so much you can do with eight more hours. So that's why I would pick the ability to not having to go to sleep, but I can still go to sleep whenever I want to. Whew. That's, that's, that's kind of a tricky one, too, because living twice as long, that, it's not like living forever, because that would suck. Uh, thinking rationally about that, but still, you get a, you have to see all your loved ones die, and that's not very good. And, you know, if you value, you know, having a long and healthy life, then props to you, more power to you, but I think I'd rather win the lottery, because I can do so much more with that, and more beneficial things, like, I, I, I've always said that if I did win the lottery, I would donate pretty much all of it to charity, just to funnel that money into something good, but if I were to win the lottery and not funnel that into a charity, I would buy a house in uh, Venice, California, even though they're, those uh, houses are pretty small. They're just really cool, and it's just in a really cool location. That's what I would do with uh, if I won the lottery and won enough money to buy one of those houses. Would you rather be Stephen Hawking or the hottest person? Well, I'm already not very smart, and I'm definitely not hot. But I think intelligence would be way more useful, so I'd probably- Wow! <laughs> People want to be super hot. Would you rather be the richest person on the planet or immortal? Obviously, the money. With so much money, you could do so much more good in the world than just being immortal. Be living forever, while it sounds nice, that just sucks. And even with the implication of being immortal, the world could end. Like, the sun could explode, and all life we know on this planet, planet Earth, could die and just vaporize but you would still be living. You would be floating in a vacuum of space, suffocating to death because there's no air, dying, and then coming back to life again and suffocating more because there is no oxygen in space. That is hell. Why would you do that to yourself? That's stupid. Obviously, you want to take the money. So there you have it. A short little video on Would You Rathers. I, this is a lot of fun. I see why a lot of YouTubers want to do this type of video. And I will probably make more of these down the road just as a random plug 
of videos, <laughs> per se. So thank you so much for watching me pick what I would pick for would you rathers. That wasn't a very good sentence, but I'm just gonna keep rolling with it. And thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch. <gasps> Roll out sentences mean that you'll have a time to breathe. If you're so inclined and like this video, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you can see more wacky videos of this of my nature. And maybe you just want to see my face or just a weird Asian on YouTube. I don't know, but I appreciate you even considering it nonetheless. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you in the next video. See you later.